Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and we're continuing our coverage of the Kaladesh, the new Kaladesh cards released for Magic Duels. In the last episode we looked at the white cards, now we're going to be looking at the blue cards as always. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section. Some cards I'm going to like, some I'm not and I'm probably going to be wrong and I would like for you to tell me why and tell me some of your favorites and what are your interactions. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the blue cards. So starting off, we have an Aether Squall Ancient. It's two blue and five colorless. And look at that art. Holy cow. They put a guy there for scale on a horse. That is huge. It's a rare Leviathan. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, seven mana for 6-6. Six, six, not too terrible. It is flying. That's, so that's pretty good. And then at the beginning of your upkeep, you get three energy counters. Pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pay eight now i think there could have been a better way to do that but anyway pay eight energy return all other creatures to their owner's hands activate this ability anytime you could cast a sorcery nice this guy just can clear the field and oh man very nice i like that guy very expensive but uh blue needed a a, a big bruiser i haven't seen a really good one in a while all right either meltdown one blue, one colorless. It's an uncommon aura. It has flash, so you can cast it as an instant. When Aether Meltdown enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. Enchant creature or vehicle. Enchant permanent gets minus four, minus zero. So, um, yeah, another nerf card, though. With blue, generally, there's other things you want to, you know, there's other ways to deal with a counter, return to hand stuff. But, you know, not bad. It does give you energy when you play it, so there's that. Alright, we have the Aether Theorist. One blue, one colorless. It's in common of a Valdalkin Rogue. A 1 3 for 2 mana is not bad in blue. When Aether Theorist enters the battlefield, you get 3 energy counters, and then you can pay an energy counter and you scry 1. So, not too terrible, but though I imagine you want to use energy counters for other things, but um, eh, a 1 3 blocker is not bad. Essentially, that's what it is. Aether Trade Winds. One blue, two colors. It's a common instant return target permanent you control and target a permanent you don't control to the owner's hand. So this is interesting. This is actually pretty interesting. Um, it already has a great effect that you can return things to your opponent's hand, which we found is always useful. But returning something of your own to your hand could be good, especially if you got guys who come into play stuff. So And it's an instant, so you can actually use it to save one of your guys. Uh, and nerf something so you can do some crazy combat tricks with this this is actually i think you may see some good um play of this this is actually pretty neat um this cost three which is kind of uh, not that great but i think it'd be good all right confiscation cool uh two blue and three colors it's a rare sorcery choose target artifact or creature you get four energy counters. Then you may pay an amount of energy equal to that permanent converted mana cost if you do gain control of it. Ooh. And that's not a temporary control. You just take control of it. So very good card. Just that alone. I mean, you gotta, you know, you do gain four energy counters, so you can get something of four or less just by itself. But if you have any more, then you'll be able to get it. So uh pretty nice card. That's that's pretty good. Uh, Curio Vendor, one blue, one colorless. It's a common creature. A two, one, and that's all it is. Pass. There are better things that we can play. Dramatic Reversal, one blue, one colorless. A common instant. Untap all non land permanents you control. Eh, I guess it could be a good combat trick. Um, probably good with the vehicles and things like that. Uh, I don't know if vehicles are creatures, though. I think they're not. I think they're just artifacts that can become creatures. So this could be useful depending on what else we see. I'm not impressed with it right now, but I'm seeing it in a vacuum. So Era of Innovation. One blue, one colorless. Uh, an uncommon enchantment. Whenever an artifact or artificer enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one colorless. If you do, you get two energy counters. Pay one, two, three, four, five, six energy counters. Sacrifice Era of Innovation innovation and draw three cards um yeah if you're playing a deck with energy you want this you gotta have it pretty much 
um, especially with those fabricate you can generate a lot of energy counters and do stuff with it so all right we have a gear seeker serpent here two blue five colorless it's an a common creature it's a five six which is not too terrible for the cost kind of high but gear seeker serpent costs one less to, con to cast for each artifact you control that makes it much better and you pay one blue and five colors gear secret serpent can't be blocked this turn it is not a flyer so so it, but it does have you know you can kind of give it an evasion but that's expensive just to give it evasion so it's okay i guess it's you know a poor version of the other one the other big creature we saw but hey good to see blue with some big stuff so all right, we have a Glimmer of Genius, one blue, three colors, an uncommon instant, scry two, then draw two cards. You get two energy counters. Scry two, then draw two cards. You get two energy counters. For four mana, that is not bad because you get to scry and you get energy, so not bad. It's probably going to be really good in this set. Oh. Glint Nest Crane, one blue, one colorless. It's a uncommon creature, a bird. It's a one three, and it has flying. So for the cost, flying one three, not bad. When Glint Nest Crane enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You remove, review an artifact card from among the, them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So very good card all around, especially in an artifact deck. So very cool. Keep that guy in mind for your artifact decks. High Tide Hermit, one blue, four colorless. Uh, it's a common creature, or a crab. It's a four, four, and it's a defender. So I'm not enthused when he, when High Tide Hermit enters the battlefield, you get four energy counters, and then pay two energy counter. High High Tide Hermit can attack this turn as though it didn't have defender. Um, I don't know about this. I don't know. I think there is better ways to get a full four to attack with uh, than that. Uh, though he does give you four energy counters when you first play him, so that's kind of interesting, I guess, but otherwise not too impressed. Insidious Will. Two blue, two colors. It's a rare instant. Choose one. All right, so this is kind of cool. We get a multiple choice spell. We can counter target spell for four mana. Not that great. You may choose new targets for a target spell. Now that is nice. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. So nice so um kind of expensive for you kind of expensive for what you're doing but the versatility this gives you is excellent you're going to see a lot of this that is definitely going to see play we have a long fin sky whale two blue two colorless a, an uncommon creature a four three flying long skill sky whale can block only creatures with flying so meh i mean four mana four a guy that can attack for four is not too terrible, but yeah, I guess it's okay. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably better things you want to play on your on your turn. Malfunction, one blue, three colors. Uh, a common enchantment. It's an aura enchant artifact or creature. When malfunction enters the battlefield, tap enchanted permanent. Enchant permanent doesn't tap during its controller's untap step. So this is kind of inferior card to some others we've seen like this because only an enchanter. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Actually, it's a little better because it, it's creature or artifact, so it can stop the vehicle. So, actually, actually, uh, I misspoke. This is probably a little bit better than the others. A little step up because it hits artifacts and creatures. So, um, But it does cost one more. I think the others we've seen uh, cost three. But you can hit artifacts now. So, this is a pretty interesting card. I do I do like that. The fact that it, it, it taps them um, is really nice. Uh, you may see that get some play. Minister of Inquiries. One blue, a one two uncommon creature, Valdalkin Advisor. When he enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. Pay an energy counter, target player puts the top three cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Hmm. We can do some mill deck stuff here. That's interesting. I'll be curious to see that how that works out nimble innovator one blue three colors a common creature it's a two two four four mana that's not good when he enters the battlefield draw a card man there's better ways to draw cards than than that so not not crazy about that padim the console of innovation one blue four colors he's a legendary creature he's a rare he's a one four 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 mana artifacts you control have hex proof which is really really good at the beginning of your upkeep 
if you control the artifact with the highest converted mana cost or tied for the highest converted mana cost draw card so this guy is just overall really really good his 1-4 body is pretty interesting because it means with his 4 toughness um, you, you, got, you can't just kill him with little burn spells and his 1 um, attack power means he doesn't get hit by some of like the white uh, kill cards so pretty interesting this guy here I think you're gonna see this guy definitely in artifact decks he's gonna be making a, an appearance uh, I could I could see that in like doctor decks man all right Sahili's art artistry two blue four colorless a rare sorcery choose one or both create a token that's a copy of target artifact so just make another one Create a token that's a copy of target creature, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Holy shit. Holy crap. That is pretty, pretty good. Wow. Six mana though, but man. You just throw one of these in your deck and this thing is pretty good. Cre copy of target creature. Target artifact. So it could be your opponents that you copy. Very nice. Like that. All right, select for inspection one blue, uh, a common instant, return target tapped creature to its owner hand, and you scry one. So they got to be tapped, but you do get to scry, which is kind of nice. Um, one blue is not bad. Um, yeah, I like it. I would use it. Shrewd negotiation, one blue, four colorless, a uncommon sorcery. Exchange control of target artifact you control and target artifact or creature you don't control okay so yeah just switch the pleasure doing blizz business with you all right and then we have a thriving turtle one blue four zero three when thriving turtle enters the battlefield you get two energy counters whenever thriving thir thriving turtle attacks you may pay two to put a plus one plus one counter on it so actually this is kind of interesting it's kind of interesting because you can play them for turn one get a good blocker um, and then just that alone is pretty good for blue, but then you know you can pay and that seems kind of costly But you can pay to give him some bonuses so you can start attacking uh, Then he become a 1-4 then a 2-5 so uh, That's kind of interesting actually All right, and then this might be the, no we have a few more cards torrential gear hulk two blue four colorless it's a, uh, a Mythic construct holy shit look how big he is holy crap. He's a 5-6 with flash, that is nice. Bring him in at the end of your opponent's turn. When that, when Torrential Gear Hulk enters the battlefield, you may cast a target instant card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that card would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Oh my God, this guy is freaking awesome! Another great blue creature, big bomb, five six with flash. You get to do an instant from your graveyard probably something to draw cards so hey no real downsides to this other than then it's high cost but man this guy would go great in a in a control deck pretty cool all right and then we have a Vodalkin blade master one blue two colorless it's a common creature Vodalkin soldier two three uh, with prowess it it's still around prowess is just got another guy and three man is not bad not that bad for a two three with prowess this guy's good he might he might make an appearance in prowess decks and last card here we have the weld fast wingsmith one blue three colorless uh it's a common creature it's a three three whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under control he gains flying until end of turn we've seen similar things not impressed with that at all so that's it we will look at the gold cards in a separate episode so that'll be it for now remember go down into the comic section and let me know what you think of what you've seen so thanks for watching and i'll see you soon